one, two? Yeah, just two right now. One, two, three. We're shooting with the what, Miss Emily? 135 G Master. This is the G Master. There's lots of 135s out there. There's the Canon 135 F2 that I've shot a lot with simply because of the fact that Sony didn't have one. The first lens that I fell in love with when I switched to Sony was the 135 A mount. The Sony Zeiss A mount is a magical lens. It's heavy. Um, it's not, this is actually lighter than the uh, 135A mount. Uh, the only problem with the 135A mount if you're using it on the Sony mirrorless system is the fact that it uh, has to be adapted. And because it has to be adapted, it's an A mount lens. And A mount is Sony's DSLR or DSLT line of cameras. And what the A mount lens is, what you have to end up doing is adapting that with an LAEA4 adapter. Now that's a bunch of key, uh, geeky techie talk for uh, it's not ideal. My expectations for this lens are very high. It has all of the bells and whistles that I'm used to out of a G Master. It has a focus lock, the, the custom buttons that you can use around. It has the, the clickless aperture ring. It has the, uh, the autofocus, manual focus, toggle switch. It, it gives you the different focusing modes of full, what's that, 0.7 to 2 meters and 1.5 to infinity. These focus modes are actually very important because if you know the distance where you're going to be focusing at, it will actually shorten the amount of time it takes for your lens to acquire focus. Um, here's where it has the clickless aperture ring on the back. That's going to be something that you want to do if you don't want to feel that click. If you're taking stills, feeling that click is really awesome. If you're taking video and you don't want to see that click in, in your exposure and or you just don't want to feel it or hear it, um, you would turn it to clickless and then you would not have any of those things occur. It feels just like the other G Master lenses. It feels like it. I'm, I'm sure it's going to perform beautifully well. I'm curious to see what the bokeh looks like. I'm curious to see how fast it focuses. And uh, something that I think is pretty unique about this lens, I was doing a few test shots earlier, is the minimum focus distance is actually pretty short for a lens of this length. It's at, uh, what's it, two feet? That's about two feet, right? Ooh, look at that. Any closer? Wow. So I'm, I'm eager to shoot with this. I'm eager to test it out and go from there. You ready? Ready. So for the viewers at home, what I'm doing is I'm shooting with a backdrop with a lot of city lights and I want to bring those out. So I'm going to really take down the power on the light and bring up the exposure in my camera. So I'm gonna, I was shooting, I can shoot at 100 ISO in here with the lights, but I'm gonna tr pump the ISO up to about 4,000, 3,200 to really pull out the colors and the light in the background. And then um, subsequently the light's gonna go from maybe 80, 90% down to about 5%. That's the way you bring out your backgrounds and bring colors into your shots. Yeah, 93%, I wasn't lying. All right, we'll try 12. There you go, just go right up to the window. Bring that left, that right hand up a little bit. There you go, there you go, beautiful. So now we've come out to the hallway to get more distance. I have the Apollo Orb as my modifier. I have the Rotolite EOS as my light. This is the kind of stuff I used to do when I was a wedding photographer. Santa Maria Guadalupe. One, two, three. Wow. That's pretty cool. Wow. Yeah, for, come against the wall. There you go. Head that way. Put your back against it. Beautiful. One. Guys, you seem like my security detail. We are. <laughs> All three of them. Come over to this corner. Right there. Put your back against the wall. Right there. Do you want to see both shoulders? No, I'm, this is just a headshot. All right. Focus is very fast. I autofocus is fantastic. 
I'm in full focus mode right now. I have been the whole time and it has been very quick. Oh, okay. This to the side. That's beautiful. I'm using the silver umbrella as my backdrop now. The other AOS inside of the orb as my key light. That's amazing. All right, cool. This was a very short shoot. We'll be able to grab the 135 at a later date and do some more with it. Beyond impressed with it. It does an amazing job. The bokeh, especially in the hallway, when I went to the hallway, some of those shots, that's why I went out there to give some more distance. Uh, Miss Emily, once again, you killed it. Thank you. Rock star. So it, we love you guys. Thank you for watching. You can uh, click on the link below to, uh, to, to pre-order or, or buy this lens. I guess those are the same thing. Uh, pre-order and buy this lens. Uh, I honestly think for portrait photographers, it's gonna be a big seller. This is kind of one of the tried and true lenses for portrait photographers. I think just Sony, what the, the smartest thing they've done is come out with this G Master line of lenses that is very durable, very high performing, very sharp. Just the stuff that pros like me out there are asking for. It's a, tr it's a phenomenal lens. So thank you, Miss Emily. Thank you. You're welcome. Shouldn't have said that. So, um, <laughs> thank you, Emily. Thank you, Jason. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, what we should do is when you say thank you, we should go thank you, and then I go thank you, you're welcome, and then make people wonder what we're talking about. Perfect. Okay, so until next time, keep shooting, never give up On your dream. never. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> So until next time, keep shooting, never give up on your dreams, find the right gear that works for you, and remember, you only have what? <laughs> One chance to, to get, get it right. right. We'll talk to you mother freakers later. Bye. Peace.